so in this video I'll show you how to use the recently enhanced trace field command to create report comments like the ones you see here. As of version 2018 R1, individual trace fields can now contain multiple selectable values. Let's go ahead and run this program and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here is the new trace field dialog box. You'll notice that my four trace fields now appear in the same dialog. Previous to 2018 R1, they would be separate. There would be four different pop-ups asking you to input information. The other enhancement is the pull-downs. So for each field, I can select the pre-entered data as is required. So whoever the operator is, the shift and so forth. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. I'll click OK. Okay, so that's the end of my execution and you can see the information has been updated as per my selection in the trace fields. Let's look at the code and I'll show you how I did it. Okay, so here is my PCDMIS code. There are actually three components at play here. First is a series of trace field commands. Next, I have variables created to extract the trace field's value. And finally, I have a report comment that you use to display this information on the report. So the best way to explain this would be just to create a new program with a new trace field, variable, and report comment. So I'll show you uh, how it's done step by step. Okay, so here's a new program. I just have a few features and a few dimensions. So with my cursor after the tip command, right here, let's uh, first create a trace field. Trace fields can be found in the menu under insert, statistics command, trace field. So let's go ahead and give that a click. Okay, so the first thing I'll need to do is give this a name. And the name is important here because it will reference the variable uh, later on. So my name for this one will just be operator. Display message is what the prompt will be to the operator above the uh, pull down menu. So here I'll just say please enter your name or select your name. Something like that. And the value is the different names that are selectable. So I'll put my name. And the new enhancement and that the really cool part about this is we can add another one so this will be part of the pull down so I'll just say uh, John and I'll do three and uh, Mary something like that okay so that's it so let's click OK so that's trace field number one let's do a second one okay so this is trace field number two and this will be shift. Display message is the instruction. So for the values, I'll add three. So day, afternoon, and night. Okay, so that looks good. I'll have three choices now, and I'll just click OK. Okay, so that's the first step, creating the trace fields. Next, we're gonna create the variables. So I'll just enter a new line here, type a sign. So the name of my variable, in this case, will be name. So this is the, uh, the new operator that PCDMS has introduced to tie this information to the trace field. It's called get trace value. Bracket, quotation, so now I type in the name of my trace field. So this is what I was typing in before. I have called it operator and you can see it over there. So just like that. So that's uh, variable number one. Variable number two will be shift. So that's the name of my variable. Again, the, uh, the operator get trace value.
and in quotations I'll put the name of my second trace field which is shift. Okay, so that's it, that's step number two. Step number three is a report comment. So my type of comment is report. And here I'm just gonna add, show you a little trick here. So if I add a quotation and then a space, that will actually be a blank line. So it'll just provide a little clarity on the report. Okay, so now let's uh, input our variables. Okay, so that's how your comment should look after you've entered all your information. So you'll notice I put the blank at the beginning and at the end um, and included the name of my variable after the plus symbol. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this and see if it worked. Okay, so here's my trace field. I can select um, from a pull down, whatever name applies and whatever shift. So pretty simple, but we're just gonna run that and uh, take a look at the report after. Okay, so let's take a look at the report. So there's my report comment as expected at the top of my report. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to show you actually involves the report template. So you may have noticed that my font is not the default font for that uh, report comment, CMM operator John. Um, I actually did change that because I don't like the, the default one, it's a little too small. So I'll quickly show you how I did that. So we need to edit the report template. So from the menu bar, we're going to select File, Reporting, Edit, Report Template. Okay, so I need to select the um, text only report, this one here, textonly.rtp. We're going to open that. And if we just click on the top here, you'll see up in the upper left the font selection. So I've changed mine to Arial. Rounded MT bold at a height of 11. And uh, I just simply save it after that. So file save. And then we exit. So that's it. So if you like that size, uh, if you want to change the size, it's uh, actually not too difficult to do. You just need to edit the report template. Okay, so that's about it for this uh, tutorial. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.